A disturbing video. Uh, we'll, well try it, to pick it back up here with something a little more lighthearted. Yes, uh, NAPO. Yeah, NAPO, the National Association of Professional Organizers, uh, is with us this morning. We had uh, the Messy Room Contest uh, where you can enter a Messy Room or an office and then the National Association of Professional Organizers, which I know when they look upon our office and our show, uh, they break out in hives sure, uh, sure. because of our lack. Well, of, we'll talk a little bit about organizing. Yeah, the, our lack of organization is is troubling and sickening, I know, to these ladies. Uh, now, who, who all we got here, Kim? Introduce us to everybody. Well, I'm Kim Sumter, and I have Ruth Ann Betts-Essinger, Kathy Mann, and Patty Baker with me today. Now, what was Ruth's last name? Betts Essinger. It took me a while to learn that one. Uh, I'm glad that you introduced. That's why I asked Kim to introduce everybody. Yeah, I saw it there and I was scared to death of it. it you know, because uh, we've got you covered. we've covered that we can't speak well, and if your name is the least bit complicated, we will destroy it. Sure. It's almost like I panic and say it worse than really it. Even, you know what I mean? If you just take your time and work your way through right. it, you'd be kind but of. But I just panic and I just shout out something on those kind of things. Uh, <laughs> Kim, I, this whole organization thing is kind of weird uh, to us. We, ha I mean, there's a lot of people need. That, and yeah, I know absolutely. there's stores now that specialize in that, but mm -hmm. it, it just, I didn't know that anybody got organized to the point that they go, hey, we need organizing. Yeah. You know? Well, it's definitely an industry on the rise. We have just now hit the 2,000 mark of members across the country. Only in America, too, Only right? America. Uh, See, the rest no, of the world. All, a nation, I mean, uh, <laughs> worldwide. There worldwide? Are, there are some in Europe and all. Mm -hmm. Really? But there's not yes. many, are there? Not many. Well. It's something that started in California, of course. And so they don't have as much Alabama. stuff as we do. That's why. <laughs> well, it, it's, you know, and, and, and I, we've talked about it, and I think we all share in this. I, I, I lowered I, at least I, some of the entries. Yeah, I, oh, yeah. I struggle with, with the fact that, that you know, some people, with the you've heard the great, the great uh, you know, phrase, ignorance is bliss. Yes. There are some, now, what do you mean by that? Well, there's some people that, you know, they're messy, and they don't care. You're right. So, so they're fine with it. And, it, well, my, and I mean, yeah, it depends my, on the level of what you want to do. There's some people that get so fed up with it and the stress is too much that they that's me. they want to change it. See, the thing with me is I desire to be neat well, and organized, an but I can't pull it off. You need an organizer. See, I, that, well, see, I start, and what happens, I'm working, I'm working, I'm working, and then an overload comes in, <laughs> and it just destroys the whole system like a tidal wave. Right. And then it's just everywhere, and then I get depressed and don't want to fool with it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. The problem there is not the, the tidal wave, it was the system in the first place. Well, you know, sometimes that tidal wave just comes along. You're, I'm not geared up to <laughs> handle it. you're right. See, like, the biggest mistake that we make at the office at home is... Our deal with, with the mail, because of kids and busyness, is to grab the mail and throw it on the desk mm -hmm. instead of going ahead and sorting it when you bring it in. And, uh, and that, that's our problem. And, and, but, but, see, then you get that pile of paper, and you look at it, and it's so overwhelming, you just have to walk away from yeah, it. Yeah, it's depressing. Right. right. And because and, 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 you, even, you don't even know where to begin. Exactly. What's the first piece of paper I grab? Exactly. And that's where you guys come in. Huh? Right. And we basically, we're different than, than like cleaning ladies or maids because we come in and we develop a system for you that it's easier to maintain because it's always easier to maintain than to actually come in and clean up something. You know, if you, that's right. If you imagine a great big mess, like for example, if, you're, um, if your dishwasher stayed empty, as soon as the, the uh, dishes are clean, you put them up, now as soon as you take one glass and you take that pill or whatever, you know, take one glass and as soon as you're done with it, you put it in the dishwasher, instantly your mess is cleaned up. To a system and those are the kind of things that we teach people we work with them on developing systems that work so that you don't have to come back and you know take off two weeks to clean up your house yeah the problem people have with a messy kitchen is when the meals finished go ahead and get it all in the dishwasher exactly. right there and, and they walk off and leave it and then and then it, then the next meal comes and it along just piles up, uh, Kim, is this mess. a science I mean uh, would you organize <laughs> a room the same way that one of the other ladies would do you, do you have everybody got their own Everybody's different because, you know, every one of us is different. And we each own, have our own messes. We each have our own dis, uh, distinct, unique situations, depending on what kind of mess you're talking about. You have a different life than Bubba does. And so, well, maybe not y'all, but oh, no, trust most people. Yeah, I, I, let me tell you that. Yes, yes, yes. We all have our own individual yeah, We've all got our own mess. Let's well, put it that way. And, and so we <laughs> have to customize. Each person is going to be different. So we have to customize our, our unique abilities. With, with what they do so that it matches. Kim, do we have a couple of shots of just a, a couple of the entries I here? Think we, do. Uh, this we have is, selected a winner, uh, and I'll tell you what, we've got some great entries. Um, some of these, I have to confess, we couldn't do in a month. Okay. <laughs> Let alone. Yeah, I mean, you need lighter really fluid on a few of these. I mean, I don't see any other way to, <laughs> yes. you know, well, good that's Lord. That's exactly what I said on some of them. Yeah. Some of them you have to move. Why, yeah, let's just move. Yeah. Leave that, leave that stuff over. and start with new stuff. Yeah. That's right. 
But these um, that we have selected, we, we narrowed it down to several. Um, Are these three finalists here? Or? No, no this is one. This is oh, wow. Here. Wow. And, um, and was this a room or an office? It is a room, mm. and it happens to be a 10-year-old uh, little girl. Oh, my gosh. And I think you've got the letter, Rick, don't you? I think I should win the messy room contest because no matter how hard or how many times I try to clean my room a week later, it's messy again. It drives my mom crazy. My sister and uh, my, uh, me and my mom have all gotten tired of cleaning it. Sometimes it's hard to tell what color the floor is. I would be more than happy to have a professional organize my room, and then I would keep it the professional way. This is uh, the winner is Sarah Deline Rogan, uh, and uh, she, she listens to the show, and she is from Vestavia Hills, Alabama. And, so, and uh, but you got to work the system, right, Kim? Yes. After you get the system. Yeah, what we're going to do is get the plan and work. The just plan. like what she says in there, she says, you know, they get the the room cleaned up, and then days later it's messy That's again. My fault. Do you think a 10-year-old is capable of staying Absolutely. with this system? Absolutely. Okay. Well, I, I have a 9-year-old that is. Oh, really? Hey. Yes. Okay. Well, you threaten them. Yeah, sure. There was some <laughs> philosophy by, behind this, and you, you guys said that basically you wanted to instill into this 10-year-old a way to organize so it can stay with her the rest of her life, right? Right. We felt like as a 10-year-old, we can teach her, and we can change her life for the rest of her life. I mean, adults can be taught, too, but this child can be taught so that she can carry this on onto her dorm room, onto her first apartment, on in and teach her children. And that's what we're all about, teaching people how to be organized. You're well, ba have, she's have, basically saying it's too late for us. Yeah. It's, it's, oh, in a yeah, nice yeah, way, yeah. she just wrote us off. Thank you. No. <laughs> Look, it's, it's, it's why people who, you know, all the beer companies don't go after people over a certain age because you can't get them to change their beer. Yeah. No. <laughs> you know, and, 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 that, and that's where this is. Ladies, could we have you guys come back, or gals, when we have a new suite in 04? And and organize it. Yeah, we got to have. Oh, yeah. I would love to. Speedy, ask we'll him, do, do y'all do this full time, or is this yeah. like a thing you do? On the, you're a no, full time organizer. It's a full time job. It's wow. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. We, we yes, it is. And people call you and say, "Come organize me." People call all the time, and they say. What exactly do you do? Right. And sometimes people call and they think you're a retail store. They'll call and say, well, do you carry shoe racks? Mm. I say, no, I'm a consultant. I come into your home or your office, work side by side with you, and help you attack whatever problem areas you need help with. So you're not attached to any... Uh any group that sells material so you can be flexible. I mean, right. if so-and-so's got something, you go, oh, the she idea, rack right there, number the, one, you know, and then over here, oh, uh, drawers, in yeah. In fact, most of the time when you go work with somebody to help them get organized, we were talking about this before, you have organizing products left over because many times they've gone to the organizing stores, bought tons yeah, of It doesn't matter if you hadn't fixed sure. the problem with the person. And they come home, they don't, know, they don't know what to do with them. So we usually have products left over. Over. Uh, what if they took a stair into our office right now? What would they do? Oh, hey. You better care. they probably throw up. Hey, you better well, care. We, trash might, we might need to, to, to pull the cord over and see if, if we can't show them. Uh, because oh, it's, it's all. You know, the problem I've got is like my little computer room. I bought some little Rubbermaids to, you know, fill up different stuff. And they're empty. And, and like all my mess is sitting on top of the yeah. empty Rubbermaids. So it didn't help. You, know, you can tell mine was organized and it just it grew up. Right. You know what yeah. I mean? It just got well, out of Well, yours is like, like mine's a little shop of horrors. There was a yeah. plant here. Everything thing was yeah. fine. Everybody always said I was fired morning. up, but now I'm depressed about it, and I don't want to go near it. I, I mean, you know? everybody... Now, Bubba, I will tell you, I've been to the DB. Your your bill organization of what bills are due, when they're due, you've got a pretty good setup. Okay. My, me, I don't. I, I mean, I have an awful setup. What... Well, I mean, everybody's different, but what's one little little thing you can, it's your home office, that you could do to help organize the desk? My favorite thing is the tippler system. Watch you, out now. Excuse you me. Get a file box, <laughs> you get file folders numbered with the days of the month, 1 through right. 30, um, labeled with the days of the month. And every day you just pull out your folder, and what you're not going to deal with that day, you put in whatever day in the month you are going to deal with it. So if it's two days later or a week later or next month, you just keep that tickler system going, and that keeps the extra paperwork from flying all over your desk. Well, plus, I, I hate all the, the, the not needed stuff they send you. How much do I owe you, and when's it due? Yeah. What's all this crap I'm tearing off and trying to find where I'm going to throw it? And, <laughs> yeah. and we're supposed to be going to a paperless right. society. Yeah. 
<laughs> well, Rick's right, though. What do you do with I mean, that? Uh, some of the, the envelopes have got so much, you know. You have to deal with it immediately. Oh, no. like, that's, the, that's the biggest thing. It's going back to you're standing over the garbage can when that mail comes in. And yeah. paperwork is probably what we get the most of mm -hmm. because it's the thing that inundates us the most. Well, uh, uh, here's the thing. If I can be organized with my bill paying, why can't I do it in other areas? <laughs> yeah. Well, see, you've got fumble in others. You've got areas you're strong and areas you're not right. strong. Let me ask you this. I noticed I was reading through your book of being organized about uh, getting your bills sent to you at the at a particular time of the month. I think that's critical to do that. Mm -hmm. Get them get them all at the right time. And what I like to do, Speedy loves this. We we get paid like once a month, which I like that system better because I have, I know what's due. I got the amounts on them. And when I get paid, I go ahead and pretty much pay my bills, whether mm -hmm. the bill has come or not. Right. And then, I mean, the big ones, and then some of the little stuff you handle. When, but you, you get that out of the way. And I do it on the computer, and I do it in about 20 minutes. Exactly. Gone, you know, done. Now, it goes away real quick. There yeah, it went. Sure. sure. That, but, uh, and, yeah. yeah. <laughs> wow, that, whoa, that didn't stay here yeah, very long. Yeah, okay. yeah. Yeah. A lot of money now. Uh, Ooh. Also, there, people want to know, do you organize classrooms for teachers? We have. We have done that. Mm -hmm. um, I, basically, there is a mess there's an organizer that can take care of it. We've all, we all specialize in different things. And, um, you know, and so it just depends on what your, your personal situation is. There's somebody that can take care of that, that right. issue for you. You know this is going to happen. Can y'all take some questions, too? Because I know we're going to have some organizers. Yeah, and plus, people are going to want to know, how would they get in touch with yeah. this organization? Need to go to www.napo.net. Dot .napo, N-A-P-O, dot net. Yes. And National then. Association for Professional Organizers dot net. Okay. We'll come back 14 minutes past. I thought it was that used car book for the longest time. Oh, my gosh. They're showing our office. Ladies, can y'all see that? Oh, How did I get over there? Oh, my gosh. They're showing Look the at that. That's Speedy's oh, dad. That's, that's oh, Speedy's dad. Oh, my God. Look at him. They're cringing. Oh, my God. Don't show mine, D. Whatever over you here. do. Bubba's here. We're going <laughs> oh, around to Bubba's. No. Oh, look at Bubba's. <laughs> Under the dance. Oh, no. Look, Sony boxes it's everywhere. It's the one and only. Bubba, Rick, and Bubba. Twenty minutes past the hour with the Rick and Bubba Show. Eight seven seven. We be big. Kim Sumter, Ruth Ann Essinger, Patty Baker, and Kathy Mann for the National Association of Professional Organizers (NAPO). Here, their website is www.napo.net. If you'd like to find out how they can help you, a lot of questions now uh, for the ladies. Um, this one, I, I bet they may have never heard before. Ricky is in Meridian. Mississippi and Ricky is listening uh, to 97.9. Ricky, good morning. Morning. How you doing? I'm good, Great. buddy. Hey, y'all. This morning, I just want to know if I could organize a shoe house. Have y'all ever been asked to organize a shooting house for uh, a like deer a, hunter? A, uh, for a deer hunter that he has set up maybe out on his land. These yeah. are these little houses you sit little in. Little hut. Well, it's looking. A, it's a see, see, well, the problem I is that I have. Is it, it's, I got. You can cook in there. Uh, and it's set up where I take my kids with me, but you can cook in there. Got sure. a TV and all this stuff. But I got, like, I got food, a little pantry area. You got to have a place for your calls. You got to have a place for your scents. You got to have a place for all these necessities that you need to have for hunting. Right. I used to go hunting with my husband, so I know what they need. Oh, really? You do? How about this, Ricky? They can help. We've even got one that specializes in hunting. Can I tell you? Yeah. How about you know, that? You know what I did? And y'all can tell me if it's a good idea. I put, like, a little basket under the window. And, like, I, the things that I need, I set in it so I can just get them easy and not knock around and get it. Is that a good idea? Is it? No, well, you saw my desk. Uh, <laughs> yes. Um, There's certain areas good, other areas not so good. Uh, Jason, Nashville, Tennessee, Star 97, what's up? Hello, Rick. Uh, a minute ago you had talked about uh, the problem or the aggravation you have when you receive a bill in the mail and you simply just want to get the bill and find out how much you pay and send the bill in. Yes. But you, you can't tell because it's just cluttered with all these advertisements. I hate that. Well, I've got a solution for you. Okay. What I do, instead of taking those ads out and dumping them in my trash can, I take the ads and I turn around and I put them back in the envelope that I put my check in and the, and the bill receipt in so that when they get the envelope, Back at the company, they have to wade through all their own junk to get my bill. Oh, hey, hey uh, well, how about this? You, uh, you may get listener of the week. Uh, I'm you don't take, but you see, it takes so much time. To do that, to... I guarantee you that we'll have, uh, we'll see a reduction in, the, in that advertising junk that comes in through the mail. 
Well, hey, uh, that's a good idea, Jason. Thanks a lot. See, I hate right, writing checks out and it takes too long and the envelope and can't find stamps yeah. and all. That's I like the electronic. Do you do you yeah. encourage anything that is paperless? Do you try I to do that? I do yeah. because I mean paper just it, it can be overwhelming. Sure, and plus so. you have to kill trees to have it. Well, let me ask you this, because what happens? Do you still have to keep up with the documentation though on a hard copy of the bill? I have, well, let me ask you this. Should you always spend time organizing up front, or are there times that you should just put everything together, keep it in a box, and then organize it if needed, because you could waste time organizing that you really didn't have to go back and get it. Like receipts is what I'm talking about. Okay. I know some people go to extreme on receipts. I know some people throw them in the garbage. I just put them in a box for that year, and then if I need them, I can go dig them out. It is possible to over-organize, and being a perfectionist is the opposite end of the spectrum from being messy and disorganized, and that can be just as bad a problem. And the idea is to find a balance in the middle, and you think about ROI, return on investment, the amount of time you're putting into it. Great term is it, there. Is it worth what, what she you're getting? Return on investment. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, the, other, the other tip is if you have some items and you're not sure how important they are, is throw them in a box, date it, leave the box there for three months, six see months. See if you go back to if it. If you haven't opened the box, throw the whole box out. There you go. I'm a girl, I'd agree. I call them a hold box. I put hold on there it. There you go. Yeah. And here's a tip for um. And on a rainy time. day, you can go back and go, oh, I, I didn't know I had this stuff. It's kind of like <laughs> shopping again. Yeah, see, oh, see my, I always wanted one of those. There it is. My <laughs> method is if some, something has not proven itself worthy when a certain period of time I throw it away. And it drives my wife crazy. My wife is one of these, let's, keep, let's keep it around just in case. Yeah. I'm like, look, this thing is, you know what, the one I love, we've got a garage full of stuff from the move that we didn't want to do, do anything with. Well, it sat there for six months. I said, for six months, we've survived without everything yeah. in this garage. It's gone. Let's load it up and throw it away. And uh, I mean, because we can't say we really needed it. We've gone six months and never gone in that garage and took something out and used it. Did you win that? Right. Uh, well, I'm, uh, she's wanting to have a yard sale. Just throw it away. <laughs> or I mean, let, let's let's get yeah. Let's or Bubba, it. don't even throw it away. Donate it to charity. There's so many worthy yeah, charities in the area. Come, that's what I mean. There's something like that. That's things. what I did the first yeah. time that I made that point. Yeah. Uh, is just have have one. They'll come get it in the truck and let them have it. I, I'm for that. And you know, try to have a yard sale. Yeah, we might spend all Saturday and pull down 60 bucks. You know, let's get rid of it. Yeah, right. <laughs> Bye. One thing we have to do yeah. is talk with people about their reasoning for holding on to things. And there are books devoted to the reasons people hold on to things for kind of so like long. Yeah. Well, see, I go too far. A lot of times I'll throw something away a little quick. And sure enough, somebody will go, hey, I need uh, that. And I go, yeah. Uh, uh, let me see if I can't get you in touch with waste management of Jefferson County. <laughs> yeah, that kind of thing. Um, Wait, are we look, don't we have Carrie Lambert's office too? Did uh, we? Did we? We've been showing. We have. Yeah, was that? Was, uh, we're, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we're looking. This is our operations manager's office. Yeah, we can y'all organize that? Is there anything uh, y'all can yeah. do with that office there? We were just yeah. looking at that. That's uh, that's a nice one there. That's probably what we would do with that though. See, <laughs> as a matter of fact, that is where I, how I organize. I throw it in Carrie right. Lambert's office. Uh, there are people we have actually heard of. I don't think any of us have had to do this. That literally have rented those, put them in people's front yards to organize. Just to just to start them. Oh yeah. Yeah. Shoot yeah. Uh, let's go to. Um, I'm a regular at the dump. Scott <laughs> in Anniston, Alabama. Scott, how you doing? I'm good. How are you guys? Good. I had a question for the ladies. Uh, what do you recommend for a garage that you can't get your vehicles in because of the junk? Amen. Oh, wow. I'll hang up and listen. Yeah. I, I love this product. And it's funny because we aren't necessarily tied into any particular product, but there are certain things that we find that we love and we use on a regular basis. And I always recommend Garage Tech. Um, it's a company out of Anniston, and they're on the, the web. I think it's garage-tek.com, and I'm telling you what, there is not a better thing out there. It is awesome. Well, what is and it? Yeah, what, how, basically, what they do is they come in. I mean, you, you leave for work that morning, and when you come back, it's all done. All your stuff's put back into place because they come in and they put this tech panel stuff on the walls, and then they have all these different accessories and they, you know, places to put your sporting equipment or your gardening equipment, things like that. You know, I, I hired an organization I thought was pretty good, too, the Basement Babes. Yes. <laughs> they, they did a good job. Oh, I love that name. Oh, yeah, and they, they did the same thing. And they, and That's good. Yeah, you, you come back. You know, come I bet back. they're a member of NAPO. They probably are. <laughs> uh, let's, go, uh, let's go to Shane in Huntsville, Alabama, listening to The Rocket, 95.1. Shane, go ahead. How you doing, Rick and Bubba? Good. Good, buddy. 
Monkey grass. Thank you very much. Thanks. Um, actually, well, what I was going to the organization, I was sitting there looking at uh, the BFI dumpster y'all had out there, the little ten yard. Yeah. That um, I actually had to help clean out in an apartment that uh, this woman had not taken out her trash in four years. Hey, now, oh, wow. really? And it went play show, and she, it was literally she. There was one spot on the bed where she slept, and it was four feet high all the way through the apartment. Mm. What do you do with that? Well, you you, you burn it. <laughs> <laughs> you actually had to uh, gut the whole apartment out. Oh yeah, I would think so. Wh but how do you live like that? That to me, th that that's a signal you have something wrong mentally. I mean, no offense. I mean, but there's there's no way you can be normal and and and. and I didn't I didn't know what was wrong with her or anything. I just yeah, she's went in got there and had to problem. do that. Yeah. yeah, she's got some kind of problem, no doubt. Thank. You. Let's go to uh, Terry in Huntsville. Terry, how you doing? I'm doing great today. I have a question for the ladies. Uh, uh, do y'all have to help in hustle, and what might be the typical cost for an office uh, organize, to be organized? Yeah, are y'all kind of like agents, and you'll you'll help him find the group that can help him? Is that what you're doing? Yeah, and, and right now, because there aren't very many of us in Alabama, we, um, we're we traveling the state, is, is what I'm finding, um, because there's people in Huntsville that I've, I've been working with for several months now, and, um, you know, it's just one of those things that... Until we get more people able to do it, we just kind of have to take care of them. So, yeah, we, we so, go to Huntsville. So they can come help you. Just go to the website, yeah. napo.net, N-A-P-O.net. Okay, Terry. thanks. All right, buddy. Uh, Mark in Pell City, and then we got a break. My, uh, Mary, I'm sorry. Mary, go ahead. Good morning, guys. Good morning. I just would like to know what is the one tip they have for dealing with a pack rat. My daughter is a pack rat. I can't get her to throw <laughs> anything away. Do you do you uh, set out some papers with with and some cheese bite and then <laughs> catch them when they come? <laughs> what, well, let me ask you this: What do you, what it, do, you uh, do with one? Uh, uh, how old is your daughter, Mary? Fifteen. See, I've always wondered if it, is there an age thing you see where people are more pack ready or or how does that play out? Well, I, I'm I, well, I'm I'm because I'll tell you, I am a reformed messy. In if you were to have my mom sitting here, my name is Kim, and uh, <laughs> I, I was a mess. Right. <laughs> hey, Kim. Um, ah, Kim. My mom used to drive me insane because we always battled about how messy I kept my room. And I think there's some, some level you have to allow your teenagers to to be able to express themselves and be messy for a little bit, just because they're developing their own identity and their own morals and, and values and things. As soon as I got out on my own, I thought, you know, my mom is pretty smart. And I just, mm -hmm. mom, I just gave you a plug. <laughs> my dad always said I could be creative <laughs> when I became 30. Yeah. yeah. Well, you know, I mean, because once you get out on your own, you realize that, that there are reasons that, to have these, these type principles about the way you live and, and organize things. So, you know, when, when I started realizing that my life wasn't working the way it was, and that I didn't like having to look for my keys or trying to find the things that I needed that were important, especially when I got... Had, had a baby and all. I mean, it was really important then. you got to be sure organized. Though. I could find things then. Um, you know, it's, it's something you had to kind of learn, and that's why I encourage people, because if, if I can learn how to do it, anybody can. And I, so I'm able to help people that that weren't were messy and, and now can learn systems to change that and overcome it. Once was lost, but now they're fine. They are, right. absolutely. And you they had some more to add to that? Yeah, I just wanted to add something that people have to want to be organized. Uh, we get calls all the time where a family member wants us to come and organize their spouse. It's not going to work unless the spouse right. is motivated to be organized. So for the moms out there who are frustrated by the children, they've got to want to do it. Just like Kim, she was using it as a rebellion They've got to want to do it, and that's when it's easy for us to come in and help them. Otherwise, it's kind of like beating your head against the wall. Yeah, him in rebellion. There it was. My mother that had was me. My mother had a remedy for a messy room, and it was a belt. So yeah. I mean, uh, that, I don't know if you'll find that. At I, I compared, uh, you know, messy room, hot bottom. Yeah, and I didn't, you know, I didn't like that. Was, uh, <laughs> All right. Well, thank y'all, ladies, for being with us, and congratulations to our winner. And we let us know how that goes. How that all turned out, before and after shot. Oh, you we know, will, we need definitely. the complete makeover. If you would like more information, go to the website www.napo.net and thanks again uh, to the National Association of Professional Organizers Kim, Ruth Ann, Patty and Kathy and we will be right back. Rick and Bubba's in Ohio! Rick and Bubba, Rick and Bubba Pass the gravy please Rick and Bubba, Rick and Bubba Ooh, it brings me to my knees Rick and Bubba, Rick and Bubba I can't start another Rick and Bubba, Rick and Bubba Day without him, brother. Rick and Bubba, Rick and Bubba. Oh, there is no other. Rick and Bubba, Rick and Bubba. Wake 
Rick and on the blubber. Rick and Bubba, Rick.